people, 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 people. Que pasa, sa pa, say what they do. Now this is an update about an incident that occurred Sunday morning. We are speaking about at about 3 a.m. in the morning in a place called Bridgeport, Charles Drive to be specific. And it included a 39-year-old lady and her name is Karen Nugent. She was taken out and also burned up in the house, in her own house. Now people, we see that the brother has responded to the demise of his sister and his name is Devon Lawrence. And he is saying that he is defending his sister. He is saying that his sister is a church lady. She basically got to work, to church and back home. She is not in any sort of mix up and passa passa. She don't have no man problem. She is not in any sort of conflict with anybody. And he is saying he is making a damning allegation that somebody set up his sister. Now people, like me say, you know that whenever anything goes down, there is always all sort of eyes and ears all over the place. And word on the street is that this might be a next case of Tamara Geddes. We are speaking about a copycat syndrome because people like them say one fool makes many. And you understand that whenever anything happens, there is always a succession or a trending thing where everybody starts to follow. So people, the moral of the story is that based on word on the street, is that the sister of this lady, Karen Nugent, might be a prime suspect or might have some motivation for basically set up our own sister. People may just say this is word on the street. And based on what the brother is saying, somebody set up him sister. So therefore he knew or he knows without a shadow of a doubt that there is some sort of foul play. So people is he basically holding his mouth and not saying it is his sister or whatever relation that lady is to him we are speaking about his sister's sister i don't know if it is his second sister or whatever the case is however he must say the popo better find out who basically slap with him sister because somebody set up him sister now people when we listen to a case like this and we think about how despicable the case as it pertains to tamara geddes was and for come back to back, if this is true, if the allegations are what persons are saying on the street is true, that this might be a next case in which a sister set up a next sister. People, on a sister, something is fundamentally wrong with the mentality of these persons in Jamaica. And as it pertains to family and family fighting, people that is along we are speaking about disgusting tradition that has been going on all over jamaica we are talking about people are always fighting and chopping up people and killing each other for some sort of land or property so people at the end of the day the moral of the story is this people are always fighting for stuff that they did not build that they did not buy however because of jealousy bad mind and envy and all sort of evilness we see that jamaica is taking a very bad turn we are speaking about for the worst point blank and period and for those of you that are not familiar with this story it is a story about a young lady well not a young lady she is 39 year old and like me say her name is karen nugent and she was employed to Saji Court. And it was also said that she was a very bright and ambitious person because based on her school records, based on the subjects that she got, we are speaking about 16, we are speaking about in upper and lower. So people, we are talking about somebody that had a very bright future and she worked and she was a Christian lady. We are not speaking about any sort of purse that is mixed up and anything can come back. We are speaking about any sort of repercussion from crime. However, people, you understand as it pertains to Jamaica, you don't have to do anything for people hate you people will just hate your plot or put up some sort of scheme to get you out because of no apparent reason regardless if you are good or bad and people at the end of the day it seems as if all of the good people all of the ambitious persons they are getting slapped away and based on the report it is said that she was last seen on saturday and she was outside watering her plants or flowers or grass rete lele blue blah bling and based on the accounts of eyewitness and also the popo report it is said that the residents saw all sorts of smoke coming from the 
the house and they called the popo and the fire brigade and after the fire brigade did their cooling down operation they found her body bone up and also her hands were tied behind her so people we are talking about foul play we are speaking about something into something we are talking about something look fishy without a shadow of a doubt so people you understand how the procedure go if you want the picture you can whatsapp me one eight seven six eight nine four twenty seven eleven but be very patient because i have a lot of persons that are calling me so anyways people that is my views on the whole thing as it pertains to that and like me say it is just my views and opinion it is not the gospel your views and opinion can be respectfully different from mine but let me know what you think in the comment section bless up now before I move to the next part of my video, please subscribe to my next channel. It is called Jamaica Dancehall Source. One word, I'll be pinning the link to that channel in the description of this video. And also, please subscribe to this channel. And when you subscribe, please press the notification bell and also press all in the option. So the next thing that is popping in the news, people are tired for warning about these drivers in Jamaica that are always in a rush. They are always driving like some mad bots out of hell. And people like them say, who can learn they are going to feel. And people, this is based on an incident that took place on the Prospect Main Road. I think it's Manchester or Mandeville. And this happened yesterday in which one man basically passed away and two other persons were injured. I am speaking about the person that lost his life. His name is Marcus Brooks and he is 24 year old. And based on the information, it is said at about 12 15 a.m we are talking about after midnight these men were driving mr brooks was a driver and two other passengers when they reached a section of the road and he lost control and when he lost control people all h-e-l-l -L broke loose so people i am going to let you listen to the video are the parts that i can show that are edited for youtube and also we're speaking about the audio and people i want you to listen attentively because this is going to send a very serious message to all who can learn them are going to feel or all who can hear they are going to feel so people take a listen take a look and then i'll give my peace that's for sure jesus christ Sorry, the Sorry, the that's marco okay Man, broke up all boat, you know. Yeah, broke up all boat, man. Man, broke up all boat. <laughs> I you know. I mean, this man pull on one time, you know. Yes, when you pull back up, when you hand. Stitch Stitch Marco! 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 Marco, I'm going to go to Marco, this dog. So, so I can't. I want to the road. Please, we come a can't you know, you you Marco, we are doing we are doing since night. Look, who are you? We are doing 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 we are Yes, the man crash. We just went deep in the noo. Idag, we are just hard for. Don't touch him, man. Don't touch him, man. Man, touch him, man, man. Can't believe that. I'm going, yo. The two way like that. Mash up, team. Who? The dev, dev. A dev, dev. A drive, man. This a man, yeah. This a man, a drive, the van, man. I'm a pull for. I'm a dev, dev over here, so bad, man. This a man, yeah. They're on his tear. I will pull. I will try to keep out of the way. Yes, yo. It's coming like a sign. So if I come over here, sir. Mighty God, man. Oh, come on, come on. Oh, 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 come on
And which way the which way thing cut the road? And we cut the road. Watch out, dog. Really dog, watch out, man. Watch out, man. Watch out, man. Watch out, man. Clark, Alice, and broke to you know? Who will have broke up, you know? Then I'm here, but I'm sure I'm coming from. Me, no, no, I'm here, Ox. Now, people, hear me, I go say. Yes, sir, for the people, I may lose them life on the road innocently. We are speaking about accident because people are short on the fact that an accident can happen. Nobody is perfect, so therefore things can happen. However, you see for the people them that don't learn, the people them that every day them get up them do the same thing, them see people are pass up on a daily basis regularly. However, as soon as them jump in at the car, it seems like some sort of lead upon them foot. It seems as if they are always leaving their place late and expect for reach early. Me not sorry for Uno whenever Uno wrap up with a talk about round a tree or whatever because you deserve it. Because the truth and the facts that you hear the warning every day, you see it every day upon the TV, but it does not ring any sort of bell because Uno stubborn. You people are very inconsiderate, you are very selfish on the road, and people as a person that's always on the road and driving. Every day me dep on the road is like me I risk my life because me I watch them me I talk about every day multiple time we are speaking about every five ten minutes you see a next idiot a zoom pass and a fly like a mad bat out of hell and you have to just shake it and say if them people understand and realize the risk that they are taking if everything goes well however anything can happen it is called accident so therefore the more that you put yourself at risk is the more liar there is the more possibility that something wrong is going to happen and people like we see we see it once again and i know that when i speak about this in this video there are going to be a lot of person that they are going to listen to it and as soon as them jump in at the car them are going to do the opposite of what i say or what i recommend however until them end up me a table in a one tree and when we talk about in a one tree i am speaking about a very immovable object that is not going to move however your life is going to move away point blank and period so anyways people that is my views on the whole thing as it pertains to that and like me say it is just my views and opinion it is not the gospel your views and opinion can be respectfully different from mine but let me know what you think in the comment section bless up